Studio squad for everyone new welcome to Kiara studio I am Amber in this video you will see how I take this normal five gallon bucket and turn it into a plant pot that I grow my vegetables in my puppy is crying right now because he wants to go and play with a bird that is in the yard of course he stops whining as soon as I walk over it and put him on video. What's going on? All of the supplies is listed in the description of this video. My dad gave me this black bucket last year. I grew green bell peppers in it, but I'm going to cover these holes right now with some normal masking tape. I also covered the handle to the bucket. The bucket on the left has not been sanded down yet, but the bucket on the right has been sanded down and you can tell the difference right here. I am using steel wool and sandpaper to sand the buckets down. A great tip is to use a circular motion when rubbing the steel wool or sandpaper against the plastic bucket. I am using acetone to clean the residue off of the buckets. It's time to spray paint the buckets. I am spray painting all of my buckets white so that I can have a cohesive look. I recently gave my porch a makeover. Make sure you look at that video. I started with the buckets upside down because I wanted to make sure that I got the edge of the bucket really good. For the next coat of paint, I flipped my buckets back right side up and inserted trash bags then put masking tape around the edges so that I don't get a lot of paint inside of the buckets. I actually did four coats of paint for these buckets. These store brand buckets are very popular and always available at stores like auto supply stores and home improvement stores. The regular white buckets are actually harder to find and they are also more expensive. I am taking off the masking tape from around the handle. I placed the soil in the bucket first because I did not get my new drill gun until later. But of course you can drill holes in the bucket first and then add the soil afterwards. I am drilling three holes in the buckets so that water can drain out. I am going to transplant these into the buckets. I am now adding a soil mixture to the potting soil. Some of the ingredients inside of this mixture is sand, fertilizer, and plant food. This is squash. It's also the same squash that you've seen me holding in the bucket in the beginning of this video. I like to create community pots by placing several 
young seedlings inside of one plant pot. My plan is to grow them together in this community pot and when they become adult plants, I plan on separating them by transplanting some of them inside of another plant pot because I don't want them to fight over space. Watch my video on how I use the paper towel method to germinate seeds. Some gardeners leave their young seedlings indoors to grow until after they have received their second set of leaves, but I place my seedlings outside really early and everything worked out great. The next step is to allow the plants to grow. It is also very important to have a schedule to water, fertilize, and rotate the plants. Here are a few other plants that I am growing from seed. This is a Casper pumpkin, which is a white colored pumpkin. We ate the first pumpkin and then we took the seeds out and placed them in this planter to grow. These are yellow beans and I also have green beans growing next to them. This fertilizer stinks so bad, but it is very beneficial to plants, especially when growing plants inside of containers. Inside of my watering pail is Fish Emotion, which is the fertilizer in water. My dog's face was inside of the pot that contained the spinach sprouts. I think he might have ate them, I don't, I'm not sure, but I know that the American Kennel Club said that dogs can eat spinach, so it should be alright. I also fertilize my outdoor plants like this Centronella plant. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video, share this video, watch it as many times as you want, and subscribe to Kiata Studio on YouTube if you haven't yet. You'll see me in my next video. Goodbye.